Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, a couple of days ago, I posted a video that Google Chrome will soon have more toolbar buttons than Microsoft Edge. And this was according to a new patch in Chromium Garrett that revealed the full list of buttons that you could eventually be able to pin to the Chrome toolbar. And I'll leave that video in the end screen. And recently, Google gave us the ability to pin uh, toolbar buttons to the toolbar as quick shortcuts. I've got reading mode, history, and favorites as an example. And I'll leave a video on how to do that in the end screen as well. Now, just to let you know that when I posted um, that previous video, uh, this feature was not available as yet in Google Chrome. And in Chrome Canary 127, which is the latest preview version of Google Chrome, Google has now added a flag that enables a new toolbar icons panel in the uh, customize this page a menu. And if we head over to that, once the flag is enabled, which I'll show you how to do shortly, and we scroll down, here we get toolbar icons. And if we click on that, here we can enable a whole lot of different toolbar icons. Now, this isn't the complete list, but as you can see, things are starting to, you know, the list is increasing from the default three that I had. So now you can enable reading lists, new, in, new and incognito window, which I think is quite nice. If you're using incognito, you can access that directly from your toolbar. Um, delete browsing data, print, task manager, developer tools. And obviously there are still more to come because um, this is still very early in its development and the flag has become available. So as you can see now, uh, in the toolbar now, we've got more or less the same amount of toolbar buttons as Microsoft Edge when you enable all the toolbar buttons in Edge and there are still more to come. So as I mentioned previously, Chrome will soon have more toolbar buttons than Microsoft Edge. So as an example, if I want to head over to Incognito, there we go, and I can do that now directly from my toolbar without having to go to the menu uh, like we previously had to. So we've got a couple of options, Print, uh, Task Manager, and so on. Now to enable this feature in Chrome Canary 127, we have to enable an experimental flag which has just become available. And this is not available as yet in the stable version. It's still early days. So to do this, to enable the flag as always, we head to our Omnibox and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And all you need to do to uh, pull up the flag is just type in tool bar. There we go. The flag is called toolbar pin in. And as mentioned, enables the ability to pin features to the toolbar via the customized Chrome site panel. And you change that to enabled and you restart Chrome Canary 127. And as mentioned, that will then give you the ability using your uh, customize this page menu um, to add or remove different toolbar icons to your own personal choice and preference. And personally, I actually think this is a nice move. I think um, this will just make customizing the browser a lot more user-friendly when it comes to shortcuts and accessing features a lot quicker. And obviously, if you don't want anything on your toolbar, you can just pop all of those off and then you've got a clean look and feel. But I'm watching this one as always. And um, if this gets further developed, obviously, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.